The midterm election is just six days away, and when it comes to the race for mayor of La Mesa, former colleagues on the city council are now facing off. Democrat Mark Aripostathis is a two-term incumbent, and his opponent is Republican Christine Alessio. And joining us now in the Fox 5 studio is Christine Alessio, who would, if elected, be the first woman on the job. Yes, that's true, and thank you very much for having me. We Welcome. have never had a female mayor in La Mesa, and I think I'm well qualified and will be the first one to do it, and am very proud to be running. And if voters elect you, you will be. Yeah. Um, let's talk a little bit about the voters in the city of La Mesa. There are now, you know, the population has grown immensely over the last 20 years. Yes. You have 62,000 residents who live in the city mm -hmm. of La Mesa. Um, a lot of people have been pretty critical and concerned about the development and the pace yes. of development in the city. Why do you think that you are best to navigate those concerns? And, and why do you think yeah. you are the best person to handle the job? What would you do? Yes, what would I do? Well, the first thing is, by background, I'm a land use attorney. That's what I've been doing since 1995. I wear several hats, but that's one of them. Lots of the growth that's going on in La Mesa looks terrible to the residents because we have no design guidelines. Another thing that's happening is we have where a historic building was burned during the riots, a five-story apartment building going up. Politicians throw their hands up and say, well, there's nothing we can do. They have the right. That particular parcel is in, within a specific plan that has not been updated since 1990. If I'm elected mayor, one of the first things I'm going to do is request that the council put a moratorium on growth in the village area until that specific plan is updated. This will affect new projects, not remodeling, nothing like that, and that's one way to get a handle on what the community would like to see for that area. And we have several other specific plans that are equally outdated. We need to involve the community. We need to, it's legal, you don't want to file of regional housing needs to put a temporary moratorium on development within these specific plan areas. So slow it down just a little bit. Slow it down until you can get some community sensing as to what the community would like, then develop guidelines that reflect the community's wants. You know, the, the thing is, though, in the city of La Mesa, the population is growing. It is continuing to grow. Right now, in terms of public safety, there is a concern because you really literally have 70 officers in yes. the city uh, police department. That's just four more than 20 years ago. Yes, that's correct. And one of the things as mayor that I am promised to do for the residents of La Mesa is increase that police force. I'm endorsed by the La Mesa Police Officers Association. We need more people on the street. You should not have to wait 30 minutes if your car gets broken into. A friend of mine this morning had his catalytic converter stolen. He interrupted the crime and the people came towards him and he felt helpless. This is right in La Mesa this morning, 5 a.m. as he was going to work at the hospital. We have to have more law enforcement personnel, well-trained law enforcement personnel. You know, we, you stood by the current mayor when he ran eight years ago. Uh, you were a council member. You lost that seat as well. You've been a, away from the job for a little bit. Um, there have been a lot of deceptive mailers also as well. You dropped out of the Republican Party yeah. for a little while as well. Uh, are you a Republican? Are you a Democrat? Um, why are you now running against him? And why should voters vote for you? I think why I'm running against him, it's really easy to answer. We have term limits in La Mesa. That was one of my initiatives. He, because of the way we passed the initiative, has been there. This will be almost 20 years. I am a firm believer in... 12 years is enough, 8 years is enough. I also think as La Mesa, as you mentioned, has grown, the population has expanded. We're dealing with issues of growth, growth, crime, homelessness. With my private sector and public sector business, I can solve those problems. Yes, I am a registered Republican. He's a registered Democrat. He was a Republican for a while. I was an independent for a while. This really isn't about whether you're a Democrat or a Republican. It's about making La Mesa the best for everyone who does business in the city and everyone who lives there. So some of the major priorities for you that you would tackle if you first get into office, what would you do? The first thing is I would have a complete review of our specific plans. I would insist that the staff start doing outreach to the community where the growth is scheduled, where we have put it, notifying the community, just telling them. It's not enough to put up with the legal requirements. Telling the community these are the opportunity sites which we have identified to the state. What do you want to see there? 
The second thing I would do is immediately go to the police department and say, what do you need? The third thing is for the fire department. Right now, we are sending giant fire trucks when there is an incident with a homeless person. They have requested help in dealing with the homeless. We need to give them that help. We need to make La Mesa very clean, friendly, and safe. The fourth thing is we pave our streets according to this seven-year cycle. Right now, you can drive down Baltimore Drive in La Mesa, major thoroughfare, hasn't been resurfaced in years. You will have potholes, and the potholes are so bad there are weeds growing in them. We need to change the way we do business in La Mesa. All right, Christine Alessio, we appreciate your time here today. Thank you for joining Thank us you. here in the Fox 5 studios. And Fox 5 has invited opponent Mark Aripostathis to speak with us as well. He will be joining us this Friday 